Hey there guys, Useboy24 here, I'm bringing you a new series on Minecraft. Uh, they're going to show you how you can make your own Hunger Games map. Right, so um, I'm using the Xbox 360. Easily do this on PC, however, you need to go on your server. This is mainly an Xbox 360 tutorial as well. So I've got everything up to, uh, all set up. World's name Hunger Games, I'm not going to use the seeds. Uh, creative, you can use whatever texture pack you want, I'm using default, peaceful. And then for the options, this is my options, make sure it's super flat. And then once you're done, create new worlds. Then press OK. Right, make sure to subscribe guys, like the video. It's a new series, so um, I hope you guys enjoy it. So make sure to like it. I really appreciate that. And we just have to wait until our world is generated. Right. Just wait. This, this will be uh, quite a lot of parts to it. So keep on subscribing to keep updated with the content, it's free. Then you get updates of the uh, Hunger Games map tutorial. Right, let's go ahead and get our things, I guess. Right, I'm going to use stone and need a bed. Where is the bed? Okay, here it is. And we are sorted. Right. Just go ahead and find a place, anywhere, will do. Alright, I'll go here. And now we have to make a, a sort of base where everybody will spawn, or begin to spawn. So we'll go and build like a base with beds so they can sleep. So then, when they die, they spawn here. Right, it doesn't have to be too big. So what I'm going to do is that. Basically, make a make a little hut and bring this one to the same size length. Okay, and then bring here, here, there, 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 there. Right. Yep, that looks fine. And we're going to build another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to go along. So drop down, drop down. It's basically going to be the same one as back there. Then I need to know how far we went down. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So then it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. Kind of random. Then there. See that block? Place that there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3. Right, that is sorted. That's our two little huts. And then we're going to have this tunnel I guess or corridor in the air which goes to this one and this one goes to this one so you can transfer there'll be shops and so on right so let's build up the walls so I'm gonna go four high for the time being and then build another second level where there will be I don't know what it's gonna be called like a tunnel or a bridge of some sort to go to the uh, to the other hut, and in each level there'll be like shops, the beds where they will spawn, the spectation room where you can spectate the other players, there'll be like a glass room where you can see everybody else. It's gonna look pretty good, nice, pretty cool. So stay around. Okay, just building up the walls. Again, you can use whatever material you want. I'm just showing you the basic frame, the layouts, and so on. In mind, while you are building this, just think of a theme that you are willing to make, I guess, for the Hunger Games map. Because every single Hunger Games map needs a theme. So think of a theme real quick. I'm thinking about a destroyed village or a village of some sort where there's forests and so on. Right, once we have that done, I'm going to go inside here. Just delete the grass blocks. 
and put down some carpet. When I say carpet, some wool. Pick any wool you want. Again, you can keep the grass if you want. However, I want to have some nice, colourful wool just to uh, make it appealing. This will probably be the spawn point. We're going to have some kind of stairs, spiral stairs going up to the top. There will be two, two floors. This will be spawn point, maybe the top bit will be the shop. There will be a spectation room and some other stuff as well. Right, or maybe the rules, or the exit, or the entrance. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our wall. I think about getting that sign all that looks nice. And now let's place it around. It's gonna be like a border. It goes around. Let's just place that there. I've got something planned for the carpet. Just hang on there. Right, then we're gonna go with white. Then purple. Right, then white around. All contrasting colours, I guess. It'll match up nicely, all white, sprites, happy colours. I'm going to go with purple. And then in the middle, we're going to go back with the cyan. So let's place the cyan. Right there. Right, that looks decent, that looks nice. That is our carpet done. Now let's place some beds. So, we're going to have player 1, player 2, player 3, player 4. Let's see if we are... Uh, oh, that'll be fine. Yeah, I guess that'll be fine. And then we can have like a chest. Like, a like an army base sort of thing. Really combat -y style. So we'll have a chest next to each bed. Right, so that bear goes with that chest, that bear goes with that chest, that bear goes with that chest, that bear goes with that chest. Could have one more. There we are. Then we're going to have a nice looking wall. So we're going to get a stone brick. So we'll get it and then just place it above. This is going to be like a small looking wall, actually, like that. Then they have to go around, just brings a style, you know. And we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. So let's have another bed going there. Another bed going there. So then that is six, seven, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six, seven. Yep, that's right. There's seven people, seven players. That looks pretty good. So there's going to be seven players in total in the game. They're all going to have a bed. So then we're going to have a spiral stairs or some kind of stairwell going up. So I'm going to get my stone slab. Place it here, place another one there, two, always one bigger than the other. You know, it's always going by one slab high, if that's even a word, one slab high, I think it is. Oh yeah, maybe we can have it so it's coming outside, that'll look, that'll look nice. Right, or well, hopefully whatever I have planned works. Then we have that. Delete that bottom bar. No, I can't do that. Okay, anyway. They are going to make it spiral, spiral across to the side. So what I'm doing here is just leave this right block or right slab to the side and build one to the left, as you can see. Then once I've done that, I'm going to do another one here. And keep on going. Then that adds one more. Here we are, nearly done. Delete that part. So then let's just test it. So we walk here. Walk here and then we go all the way there. Right, that looks good and that should be fine. Right, 
Once we have done that, we go to place one and two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know why I'm counting, but yeah, that is that's done. Fill this in. Like so. So basically, we uh, go up this spiral stairs. We are there, to the top. Second floor. So we went up by one, two, three. Yeah, three. One, two, three. I'll just start off with two. And then do another layer on top of that. So far, it's looking nice, this spawn point. So when somebody joins in, they'll come here, they'll sleep. So then when they die, they'll just pop here again. And they'll have to walk across this spiral stairway that comes outside. And go to the shop, and then the spectation room, and then the actual entrance. So yeah, hopefully this will go down as planned, look pretty nice. So you guys can have some pretty nice Hunger Games maps. So you and your friends can enjoy Hunger Games. Right. So that looks pretty nice indeed. Let me walk here. So on. Right, so let's now just focus a bit on the on the roof. Well, second floor. So we're going to make a wooden floor here. To get our wooden planks. I'm going to go with oak wood planks and then just build kind of ceiling just I don't want to use some um, stone otherwise it'll look boring so hopefully this should cross with no problem so our heads won't get stuck yep that's fine okay time to go to bed real quick let's test these beds out yep everything's looking good let's just have a sleep Little nap, have a sleep. That doesn't even make sense. Sorry, bad English. Okay. Really done the ceiling. Okay, there we are. That's the uh, ceiling done. Let's just go ahead and place. Wait, I'm not sure if we should put torches or glowstones. I think I'm going glowstone-y. Glowstone style. So let's go and get our glowstone. Oops. Get a bed. And I will... For this corner we'll go like so. Just like zigzaggy from that corner all the way along. Okay, yeah, that looks nice. So from that corner here, we're going to go with the zigzag. When I mean zigzag, place that block here and go to the left, place the block on top. And then we're going to go to the left, place the block on top. Left block, left block, left block. That kind of motion. Anyway, yeah, that looks decent. That looks nice. Maybe I can close that in. Ooh, my head still fit. Yeah, just perfect. Right. So, oh, nearly fell. And to stop that from happening, we will add some stairs, well, not stairs, some, um, what are they called? I forgot the name. The um, thingy-bobs, what are they called? Fences, there we are, fences. <laughs> How did I forget that? Right. Okay, then there, that goes there, there's another one on top, okay, there. Okay, so let's get our fences. Where are they? Ah, right, here they are. And place that with my chest and make some fences. Just to, uh, Stop them from falling. Right, I think I'll add another 
layer there. Okay, that looks good. So guys, make sure to watch part two. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We haven't done much. We haven't done the spawn point. But yeah, looking very good so far. Make sure to watch part two, part three, and part four until the uh, ends. And you create an awesome Hunger Games map. 